Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Valentina. I'm a makeup lover and I like to test makeup products that last all day and look good on my acne texture skin. And for today's video I have two primers to test and uh, I'm going to show you how I created this makeup look. I have the Synchro Skin Blurring Primer and the New Professional Primer. And I also have some updates for the makeup used in my last video. So if you like what you see and want to find out more, then keep on watching. I have my eyebrows on and I've used this Brow Freeze by Anastasia Beverly Hills with the Skinny Definer Brow Artist by L'Oreal Paris. So I have two primers to test for today and I'm going to give you my first impression. So I have this Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer and I also have the new Professional this is light primer. This is the new and improved version of the uh, professional. I've tried the uh, professional before, so uh, I hope this one is uh, better than that one. So I got these two because they are non-comedogenic. I got the travel size version for the uh, professional one. So I really want to test uh, this before uh, I commit to the full size version. And about this single skin uh, blurring primer, I've heard great things. It's non-comedogenic. So I'm very excited for this one uh, more than uh, for the professional one. So I'm going to apply the professional on the side of my face and the single skin um, on this side. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand to see um, how is the texture. The professional one is uh, very matte, has a matte finish. I could see the blurring effect and the single skin has a little bit of a glow. So I got a little bit of the professional. It's very thick and has a pink color. So uh, I'm going to apply it on this side of my face. And uh, go on the other side with the single skin. I can really tell if these primers are doing something uh, on my skin so I'm going to apply uh, my foundation and for my foundation today I'm going to use this Dior Forever this is the new matte foundation by Dior I've used this foundation for the first time in my last video so if you want to see a first impression uh, I definitely recommend you to check my last video I just want to say that I really like it I use this one every day and holds on pretty well on the skin but I don't think this one is better than my Estee Lauder Wear. So I have to test this one more and maybe do an update video uh, using this one and the Estee Lauder Double Wear and tell you the difference between uh, the two. But right now I'm going to uh, apply this all over the face. So I've just used this Forever by Dior with these two primers as a base. My pores are less visible on this side of my face uh, with this uh, as a primer. And with the single skin, um, I still see my pores, but I think uh, my skin look more fresh on this side of my face. Formula wise, um, I have to say that I like the single skin better. Uh, than the professional. This is very thick and very hard to apply. Maybe this one um, is formulated to be used just in this area. I'm very curious to see how everything else will sit on my skin. So um, I will move on with the rest of my makeup. For my blush today I'm going to use this Strawberry Drip by Fenty Beauty. I just take some on the back of my hand and uh, I will take my uh, foundation brush and blend it on my skin. And for my concealer, I'm going to use this Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Concealer. I really love this uh, concealer.
I've just used the excess product uh, as my eyeshadow primer. This concealer is also good as a base for your eyeshadow. And to set everything in place, I'm going to use this By Terry powder. I really love this powder, I've used this before, so so far my skin looks very nice on both sides. On this side, with the professional, um, everything looks uh, very very smooth, but also with the single skin, um, everything is very nice. So um, I will continue with the rest of my makeup and see how everything will look at the end of the video. For my bronzer today, I'm going to use this Dior Forever Natural Bronze in 0410 Bronze. I've used this bronzer in my last video for the first time and um, I have to say that I really like it for an everyday look. It's very sheer and pretty and you could layer this as much as you want. And I also like the color on me. I find that this blurs my skin and uh, don't sit weird on my uh, skin. So this was like a little update uh, since my last video for uh, this uh, product and uh, I'm going to use it uh, today. So that's it for my base today. I'm not going to apply highlighter. I was not so much into highlighters lately because I find that throughout the day my natural oils will pick through and uh, give my skin a natural glow. So for today I will skip highlighter and uh, I will move on to uh, eyeshadow. And for my eyeshadow palette today I'm going to use this Dior. This is Dior Backstage Eye Palette in 004 rosewood neutrals. I reach for this a lot so these three for a quick everyday look are great and uh, I also like to run something closer to my lash line. One of everything from here uh, it's uh, good for me. So I'm going to use this shade all over the eyelid right now. Use the same color on the lower lash line. I like to pinch the brush and use this on my lower lash line. I just love this color. It's like the perfect neutral brown for my fair skin. I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlighter and uh, also some on my lower lashes. And I'm going to finish this uh, eye look with some eyeliner gel and I'm going to use this Stila Smudge Pot and uh, for my mascara I'm going to use this Size Up uh, by Sephora and I will be right back. So this is the finished eye look. I've used this Stila Smudge Pot as my um, gel eyeliner and uh, this Size Up Mascara by Sephora. I've used this one before um, and I like it and this Stila Smudge Pot I used this one in my last video. This will smudge throughout the day. It's not like my Urban Decay uh, pencil that I really love. And if I want something to last all day, uh, that one is amazing. And uh, sadly, this Stila is not very long lasting. So this was like a little update since my last video. This Stila smudge pot sadly is not so waterproof and uh, smudge throughout the day on my eyes. And to finish with this makeup look, I'm going to apply something on my lips and as my lip liner, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Lip Liner Couture. It's not a very long lasting lip liner, but uh, the color is great for something quick and 
easy on the lips and as my lipstick i'm going to use uh, this velvet teddy by mac this is how much i have left so this is a very well loved uh, lipstick so i'm going to quickly apply this too So this is the finished makeup look. I really like how my makeup turned out today. It's something uh, classic and uh, simple. This could definitely be an everyday look or something for a night out. I would love to know your opinion in the comments down below. So I will give you my final impressions uh, on these two use today. The professional and the single skin uh, blurring primer. I have to say that I like uh, the single skin formula uh, better. I think it's very easy to apply all over the face and this professional it's a very thick gel. All of the other makeup products were applied very nicely on both sides of my face. My skin looked very smooth and uh, the pores are less visible on both sides. I think this one is doing a way better job at minimizing the uh, pores around this area but I think if you want a primer to be used all over the face this one is great it has a little bit of a glow and this one is completely matte so I don't know I really have to test this and see how my makeup look all day uh, with these primers but for now I am very impressed by these two I think they are great and the fact that they are non-comedogenic um, it's also a plus for me. They are oily free and also with a clean formula. So I don't know, I am looking for a primer that uh, blurs my imperfections, help my makeup last throughout the day and uh, something to not break me out. As a first impression, these two might be good for what I am looking for. It's very hard for me to choose right now one of these two. I like how my skin look on this side with this professional. I think I will go with this one for now but i also like this one that's everything for today i will definitely keep you updated in my future videos please let me know if you have these two and if you like them and what other primers are out there and you like uh, them so i could try them but that's it for today i really hope that this video was helpful and i hope that you like it if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also ring the bell to be notified when i upload I post every week so make sure to hit the notification bell. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!